Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today we're going to talk about a new feature in ICX 8070 uh, that allows us to do a full system backup to USB through a single button press. So there's many reasons why you would need that. Uh, you may want to do a system backup, you may be copying the configuration file among devices, you may be sending a support save to TAC. So all of those can be accomplished. Uh, once this is enabled, then it can be accomplished just by pl plugging in the USB, holding down a button for 10 seconds, and all of your files are backed up. So this is disabled by default as it should be for security reasons. You don't want someone just to be able to plug in a USB and walk away with your config. So first thing we need to do is go to the console, do a config T, and then the command to enable this is just a reverse dash manifest dash enable. Now, because it's going into the running config, you probably want to do a write memory if you want to permanently turned on. Um, but we've saved it into the running config. And then the next thing we're going to do is all physical on the device. So we'll have a look at the front of my device here. There's a status button, and beside the status button, there's five lights. So by default, it's showing the port status. Uh, and what we want to do is we want to move that over to the USB status. So if I uh, press the status button three times, it should light up the USB. So we see the USB is currently orange, and that's because there's no USB flash inserted, right? So once we insert it and it mounts, we should see that light turn green. So it's now mounted and ready to go. And so all we have to do to start the backup at this point is to hold down the status button for 10 seconds. Now make sure you do that with the USB lit up. So we'll hold that down for 10 seconds and then release the button. And once we do that, we'll see the green light flash. So now the backup is in process. So when it's finished, it'll go solid green again. And if there was a problem, it would flash orange. So for example, if the USB drive wasn't big enough or the USB drive wasn't formatted or was in the wrong format, then it uh, would flash orange there, but in our case it's flashing green so we know that it's in process and working correctly. And so what we can see here is we see that it uploads the manifest file first, it uploads the signature files, it uploads the uh, the firmware file itself, and this is probably the longest part of it. It does the boot signatures and the boot uh, code itself, and then lastly it does a support save. So all in all, this it takes about a minute to run this backup. Um, so that, of course, depends on the size of your config file, the size of your images, uh, and the size of that support save, right? So they could vary uh, quite a bit. But in this case, it takes about a minute. So it's, it's really quick, faster than you could probably type it out and upload it to a, a, a TFTP, for example. So here we see the support save completed in 20 seconds overall process around a minute, something like that. Um, but we should now have all the files we need written to USB. So we'll have a look at those directories. Uh, and when I inserted this USB, it was freshly formatted, so there was no files on it. So we'll have a look at what we have now. Uh, so show directory disk zero shows me the root of the flash drive. And we see I have a manifest file we have an ICX 7150.cfg, which is our configuration file. And then we have two directories, ICX 7150 and a support save directory. So we can have a look at what's in each one of those. So show directory disk zero slash ICX 7150. So we see we have signature files, we have image files, and we have boot file all uploaded automatically. Uh, if we have a look at the support save directory, there's 
about 20 or so gzip files that the system's created for us. So if TAC has asked you to supply them a support save, you can just r run this backup and then upload those commands to TAC to uh, complete it. You can un -gzip those and have a look at the files if you want to, uh, but for the most part, that's something you're going to run when TAC asks you to. So that's it. It's a pretty helpful feature and very, very simple. Once you enable it one time, um, then it's just a matter of holding that button down and backing up. So if you needed to do multiple switches, you needed to move config between switches, or you needed a support save in a hurry, it's a very easy and simple way to do it. Okay, so that's it. Have a great day and take care. See you next time.